Hey guys and girls and welcome to week 10 of Mario Strikers Charge Football. Last week we saw Princess Daisy destroy Cooper Jr. 5-0 and have a very close match with Yoshi ending only 2-1. This week it's a right royal battle royale <laughs> as Daisy will go against the King of the Coopers, Bowser himself and her second rematch with Princess Peach. And a quick look at the cup stats shows that she's very firmly on top as this is the last last pair of group matches for her. And as we can see, she's got eight goals, uh, sorry, eight wins, no losses, no losses via sudden death, 39 goals for, eight goals against, totaling 24 points. Worst case scenario, she'll end up in third, but she's definitely gonna be qualifying for the knockout tournament. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get ourselves going. Princess Peach, uh, Princess Daisy versus King Koopa. And this week's match sees us in the lava pit. Both teams want to be careful of exploding meteorites. Although the advantage of the ball landing in an exploding meteorite is that it will get powered straight up to its white form. Teams want to be taken advantage of, but they also want to be very careful of. Quite sure what happened with Daisy there, but Toad going for his first goal. He remembers his um, he remembers the runner luck he had last week. Boo tries for a goal, but quite very well saves it. Hammer wants the first goal in. Doesn't quite get it though. Toad going for oh, Toad was going for it. He was approaching the king with tenacity. Nice save there from Critter. Toad. Toad just. Throws it out. Very nearly could have got a lucky goal there. Ooh, nice teleport from Daisy. Getting out of the way of Monty Moore's teleport there. Oh, well, nice teleport is. Um... Oh, nice interception from Boo. Nice goal there. Uh, nice save there from Critter. Oh, no. Toad tried to pass it to the other Toad, but unfortunately the Lava Pit had other suggestions. Oh, Toad. Nice interception there for Little Mushroom Man. Oh, seems that Team Bowser's uh, Bowser's team are on form. Hammer Brother stopping a uh, stopping King Cooper's Mega Strike there. Daisy want to be careful not to go into the lava pit, and she manages to get the ball as she takes it down to her end, making sure that it's safe. And Hammer Brother with the first goal. Quite predictably, really. <laughs> Team Daisy took their time to get that goal in, but it's the goal that matters. Boom, straight in. Team Daisy was trying for a mega strike there, but she knew her luck wasn't quite going to hold out. And Hammer Brother with the second goal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's good and he knows it. Boom, right in the back of the net. King Cooper's going to have to try something especially hard now. Oh, and Daisy wanted the, wanted the third goal in. Oh, nice tackle from Toad. Not quite sure what Hammerbottle was thinking. Oh, nice, uh, nice tackle there from Critter. Toad to Toad. And Daisy with the third goal. The princess proves that she's more than just eye candy by scoring a third goal for her team, proving that she is indeed a player in the game. Oh, she tried for the mega strike. Tell you what, the Toads are unbelievably on fire with their defence, uh, their tackling. Oh, Daisy got a nice interception and Toad went for the goal. Oh, Daisy tried to score from midfield but wasn't quite having it, she's not uh, particularly good at shoot, uh, shooting. And Hammer Brother with the fourth goal for midfield. Oh yeah! <laughs> Team Daisy are destroying Ke uh, Team Cooper. Oh, Bowser tried desperately. Oh, here come the dirty tactics now. Oh no, here comes a chomp, a chain chomp. Oh no, he's just going for everyone. Toes just running away. And Cooper, uh, pretty, uh, very wisely keeping hold of that ball. Oh, Toad wants his goal. Oh, 
Oh, I don't really want this goal. But that's okay, because Daisy defeated Bowser 4-0. What a match, what a match. Very hard fought match there from the Princess, and it paid off well. Yeah, beautiful goal for midfield there. Match highlight number two. Another good goal from the Hammer Brother. And match highlight number one. And once again from the Hammer Brother, he truly is the man of the match. What a game, what a game. Right, here we go guys, the final match in the group stage. Princess Daisy versus Princess Peach. Quick take a look at the cup stats. Daisy's still doing very well with Yoshi second, Peach third, and Wally all fourth. <laughs> it looks like both the Coopers are just doomed for relegation. Still, never mind eh? Uh, here we go. Who will prove to be the superior princess? Well, if history is taught as anything, it's probably going to be Daisy. And here we are at Thunder Island. Come on, bring it. Nice tackle there from Daisy. Toad going for an early goal. Ooh, nice save from Critter. The other Toad was nowhere to be seen. Oh, and here comes the... Um, here comes the Tracker! Where's Daisy? Oh, she's been taken away! It's down to the teammates to try and work something out. And Daisy's back on the pitch. Daisy going, uh, Peach going for an early goal for some reason. Uh, well, a very close goal. Very, very risky to do to have a goal in front of the, um, right in front of Kura. Oh, Hammer Brother going for the first goal. Nice tackle there from Toad. And Daisy with the first goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sinks into the back of the nest. Daisy's not all about style, she's about brawn and just getting things done. Toad going for the goal. Toad really wanted a repeat of um, his performance last week. Oh, nicely avoid. Toad preventing um, Dry Burns' teleport attack. Teleport goal. Hammer Brother trying for the goal. It's going to be a bit difficult for their team with only a, a few members on, but... Oh! Toad was prevented from... Oh, and... Oh, and it's one all. Daisy not too pleased about that. Can Princess Peach like prove her superiority? Oh, everyone's making sure that that doesn't go down. Go down. But it was electrified, so who's going to be vulnerable for a second? And the second goal there from the Hammer Brother. Peach was left clear for the Mega Strike because every single one of Team Daisy was just taken out. Now that, no, I've got to admit, that was pretty good teamwork on uh, Team Peach's part. However, it proves that he's a stronger team member by saving every goal, preventing the Mega Strike, keeping Daisy's lead. I just got to wait for everyone to get up. <laughs> Daisy just couldn't run the risk of having uh, well, anybody near her. And Critter's hands on fire! And there's 
a cow on the field. Oh, Daisy very nearly had her Mega Strike. So you're trying to stop Princess Peach. Seems that Team Peach really wants to go. They really want this match, but with five seconds left on the clock, it's probably not going to happen. Oh, and Daisy wanted to rub someone to the wound, but didn't quite get it, but it doesn't matter. Team Daisy have defeated Team Peach. That was a very close match, very reminiscent of last week's match against Yoshi. With the exact same score as well. That was a beautiful world there from Hammer Brother. And a very nice shot from the opposite toad. Of course, Daisy with the opening goal. That was what it was all about. Fans frenzied as Daisy advances, indeed. Fans hold rally to celebrate Daisy qualifying for knockout stage. She really does need to bring her best game to the pitch, so let's see what we got. Daisy wins the Brick Wall Award. Oh, a weed? What was one of those? The Brick Wall Award. Well done, Princess Daisy. And she's also won the Golden Boot Award. <laughs> a Golden Foot Award, sorry. It's quite fair to say that Team Daisy have performed very well so far in this league. And now they're on the road to the Elimination Tournament with a chance to win the Crystal Cup against the current champion Waluigi. If we look at the schedule, we have Princess Daisy versus King Cooper. On the other side, we have Yoshmaster Green versus Princess Peach. Who will advance? Who will be eliminated? Who will win the Crystal Cup? Find out next time on Mountain Strikers Charge Football.